Day five in the Big Brother house. 10.08 a.m. Everyone's awake. What are you doing? Moisturising. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Me Babylons. Me big Babylon. You turn me on with your big Babylon. Big Brother supplies one hour of hot water every day between 9 and 10 a.m. The housemates have run a bath to use once the hot water is turned off. Are you in the shower? No, it's OK. It's cold. Maybe yeah, she's coming near with you then. One twenty eight PM. Big Brother has set the housemates their first task a painting. Each housemate must decorate one of the twelve dining room chairs. The design they choose should reflect each housemate's character. They have been painting for two hours. They've been at infant school, isn't it? Where's the dark colour one? Earlier, Spencer offered to put a print of his bottom on Kate's chair. What's the time? This has got to be done to dry. Spencer? We're going to do your bum. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this now. What do you want? Paint my ass. You have to wash it all off. Yeah, yeah. that's all that is, isn't it? You have to wash it all off. That's the hassle. Spencer says, if he sits on your chair and you wipe the, cre you wipe the paint off with the cream, you'll do it. <coughs> I didn't say that. I'll wipe the most off. I'll wipe the most off. How am I meant to do it, then, without standing here in the nakedness? Just hold something over you, like a bucket. Like a little bucket. On my hands. Yeah, on your hands. All right, OK, Spencer, you ready to sit? <laughs> yeah, do you want to pull my top Just up? sit and don't wiggle, otherwise it'll go. It won't it's straight down, straight up, isn't it? Yep, straight down, straight up. Is my, are my pants down far enough? We'll get them down a little bit more. Oh, you're, you're okay. There you go. I sort of almost lay. How's that? Yeah, no, <sighs> get up now. Straight. Speak to the name straight up, mate. Straight up. Straight up. Yay! It's <laughs> rubbish. Well, oh, that's good. I like that's it. That's a set of kidneys. Yeah. What? Hey, off you go, mate. Thanks, Andrew. Don't because I know he's been free. You see, he just doesn't have everything back for four o'clock. Two forty PM. It's been raining on and off for the last two days. Jade, Alex, and Sanita are in the kitchen cooking pasta with cheese sauce for lunch. Well, okay. These are these are wholemeal ones, aren't they? It's gross, isn't it? Can I just say one thing? You're going to say I think that when you wash up, that you should really wash up properly because so far we've had to rinse everything with you. Either buy bubbles or buy dirt. I agree. Because we've got to do everything again, and there's paint in the sink now, so we need to get one of them undone because I have to drain the pasta. I've used this. Yeah. Do some more work, will ya? Skinny. 
Fatty and Skinny went to bed, Fatty blew off and Skinny was dead. <laughs> Do you like that one? It's not really, I didn't mean to say that, that wasn't very right. nice, was it? Because you might be a bit offended by that. What, about being skinny? Yeah. I'm sure you don't get offended by anyone saying anything to you. I'm sure as hell don't, you know. Have you ever felt anyone quite large? No, I haven't. Do you know what I'd like to have? You know what I'm talking Really cuddly. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> See, and like, you wouldn't, if like we were together, Alex, not that we were ever. You'd, you'd never hurt yourself on me. No, I wouldn't. Well, I jumped on you yesterday. <laughs> 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 when the girls are watching, it's wicked. <laughs> I love it. It's not good enough. It's going to be a little like that in my bed. Do you well, guys? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I know. It feels quite nice, actually. I've never seen anyone that slim. Oh, I seriously think his waist is the top bit of my thigh. <laughs> he makes my waist look fat. <laughs> he does. He stands next to me like a bitch. I hope he never, like, you know, when he like, stands next to me too often in the house. <laughs> Every time he comes near me, I'm going to walk away. <laughs> the thing is, he's quite broad up the top, so mm. he doesn't do it in. But I like that one, guys. I, I, I don't know why, but I just like skinny. Not skinny, slim, slim men. I would never go for someone big. I think Spencer's big. Do you think he's too big? I, I, I don't. Th I wouldn't ever go for a guy bigger than Spencer. You joking? No. So you would never go with Lee, say? No. It's too massive. That's just not me. I don't like all that muscle. I can honestly say I haven't really got time. I prefer slim men. Because yeah. I suppose because I'm big, I've been there. I know what it's all about to be big. I want something that's a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> Lee and Jade are looking at pictures in a magazine. For the last 12 minutes, they've been discussing them without using words. Yesterday, Sunita told Big Brother she wasn't happy in the Big Brother house. Hello, Sunita. Hello, Big Brother. How are you today? Um, I'm good. I'm good. I've sort of, um, been... Well, this is a sort of follow-up visit from yesterday. Um... I'm still very confused as to whether I want to stay or not. I think, um, they're all a really nice bunch. They're not people that I would usually spend that much time with. And I think perhaps I was a bit naive coming into the house and perhaps I didn't really think about what I wanted when I came in. I don't really want to talk to anyone into that, in the house about leaving because I don't really like to share my emotions with people, especially when, when they may upset other people, you know, other people may think, well, you know, do you not like us or anything like that. And I don't want to upset anyone else in the house because they're, everyone's getting on, you know, I, I'm interacting but not to the extent that I normally do and the way that I'm seeing it after thinking about it last night was, you know, I like to be the life and the soul of the party but Perhaps this isn't really my party. It's not really my bag, <laughs> in in a way. I think that's going to be what I'm going to be thinking about over the next sort of 24 hours or 48 hours or however long I need to make a decision of whether I want to stay or go. Oh, 
why? Thank you, Johnny. Let's see, sorry. Who else wants a copper? Not the guy any left. <laughs> can I have a little spaghetti or drink, please? Oh, I thought you were going to say Where's this. Where's my coffee? Yeah, of course you can. I always nick everyone else's drinks. I just feel like this would. Mm. I'm not juice, very different. Juice. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you pointer from now on because you've got the. <sighs> in it. In it. In it. Pointer. In it. In it. Six ten p.m. Alison has taken a nap. Adele is teaching Kate, Jade, and PJ how to body pop. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. No, you don't put it out there. Yeah, that's not good. That you're wrong. So, what's the thinking behind your chair, Spencer? I just wanted to make a nice chair. All right. A chair that looked nice, pleasing to the eye. Do you like it? What, yours? Yeah. Oh, it's kind of you, mate. Yeah? It's kind of you. Kind of minimalistic, you know? Bit of red and black. Let's be honest, I had long been up, but I couldn't really be bothered to do it. It's probably more the reason. Do it again. Just had to. I, I think it's not a bad idea at all. Oh, I just felt that on glass I was feeling too. Um, you said you were feeling a bit weird today. Yeah, I was just feeling too um, introvert, and it's not like me to feel introvert. You, know you haven't I mean? seemed introvert at all. You've still. You perhaps your mind is somewhere else, but you've just been like just been normal. You haven't been you know, jumping around or anything like that, but like... No, but I think what it is is when you're confronted with a whole lot of very strong personalities in a room, then if yours feel suffocated in a certain way, then I just didn't like it. You know what I mean? It's like... Mm. Mm. That's there what it's are been. a lot of personalities here. That's what it's been. Yeah. Seven forty five PM. The housemates tidy up. PJ is in the toilet. Lynn walks in on him. Sorry, PJ. If we go that way, the camera will turn around. PJ wasn't bricking it before, he certainly is now. Come on. Oh Willie. Do you wish you go and have a chat with him? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, honey, sorry! There, and I'd like to have my... <laughs> give him his privacy as well. <laughs> 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 Woo! Sorry, PG. We've never seen anything. Yeah, it's not the point, is it? Huh? Oh, dear. Tension in the house. Oh, no, no. You want to come and talk to me on the toilet? <laughs> 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 It's not that you're seeing anything, you know what I mean? It's just somebody sitting listen, here. Listen, listen. Like that. Oh, well, all right, fair enough. It's fine, I'm fine anyway. It's no big deal, I don't mind. No, it's not, obviously, it is a big deal. It obviously is a big deal to you. I'm not arguing with you. I will so. never, ever, ever do it again. I don't mind, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't mind. You don't see him again, No, I know, he does mind a lot. Of course, I don't want people doing that at all. Yeah. 9.40 p.m. Adele and Jade are in the girls' bedroom. All the other housemates play a game of truth or dare. Yeah, I'm going to go for a dare, Yeah, I can't answer truth. I'm going to have truth. 
Yeah. True. If you had to get naked with any bloke in here, who would it be? <laughs> I know. Have to get to to do. Do. do you? I remember, we were speaking about it today, I think. But oh, yeah, yeah. We were thinking. This is about your pipes. Oh, you got to just say it. Come on, who would it be? Just say it. Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> it's not obvious. What do you still, baby? If you had to get naked with any girl in it, who would it be? Ooh. Kate. Yeah, man. <laughs> 10.34 p.m. Sandy is the first to bed. The other housemates play apple bobbing in the kitchen. Harry. Oh, you're not even playing, so leave him alone. Oh. Three, two, I threw the dice, man. One. I threw the dice. Go, go. Spencer and Lynn are drinking cider. What? what kind of music are you into? I like a mixture of things. I like... Stuff like Massive Attack, Mochiba. It's like Prodigy. Yeah. What? Prodigy. Prodigy, yeah. You're very self assured. What do you mean? I think you're quite cocky. <laughs> Is that a compliment or an insult? It's not so much an insult. <clears throat> I just think that how you're very young. How, how young are you? 22? I, I, me being at my age now, I find it quite hard to comprehend a person at your age, a guy you, of your age, to be as self-assured and cocky as you are. I find that quite hard to comprehend because you, you don't really have much living behind you, do you? Why do you think you're like that? Why do you think you've got that don't give a fuck attitude? I haven't. I think you do. Well, I'm telling you I haven't. I'm trying to look on it from an, uh, from an objective point of view, from a subjective point of view. What are you looking at? I'm trying to see, I'm trying to understand why he's so cocksure, right? What do you mean, cocksure? Well, I, think it's, it's, I think he's got a certain arrogance that I didn't have at his age. And I'm trying to understand why he's like that. No, but some people are more open and out than others. But it's not so much, it's not, not so much open or out. It's a certain stance that you take. Yeah, but that's him, man. Well, yeah, but I'm trying to understand why he's like that. I think he's rather arrogant. Does it offend you? No, not really. I'm just, it's, it's just an observation. It's a mild observation. Come on, then. What, the plane? No. I agree with you from what I heard. <laughs> Twelve thirteen a.m. Sunita gets ready for bed. Alex comes to the diary room. <laughs> well, I think things are getting a bit fruity in the house at the moment. Um, I saw a bit of tension tonight with um, with Lynn and Spencer. So I think uh, because I, I think all of us now might have in our own minds who. Who we, who we want for, who we want to, to um, what's it called, nominate for evictions next week. Sunita, she, she doesn't want to join in all the time, and at first I thought, well, she's just getting into things and she's a bit nervous, but she doesn't seem to participate all the time, and I just think, while we're in the house, we have to stick together, and the reason we evict people is because we feel that they're not, we're, they're not part of the team. The Dell. Very quiet, very nice. Spencer. Don't know about him. PJ. <laughs> he just talks about sex all the time. Is there anything else at all you'd like to talk to Big Brother about, Alex? Um, yeah, maybe. I mean, I'm a bit embarrassed to say this, but if I don't go to the toilet soon, I might have to be asking you guys for a, for a, a, a suppository and an instructions manual, because uh, I, I still haven't been yet. I'm not in any discomfort, but, you know, I'm, I'm a regular sort of guy. I was just saying, it changes all the time, and I'm 
just thinking what we're going to pick on the day. I think yeah. everyone's like thinking every day, like, who can I nominate? Mm. It's so hard. What, thinking it. of a reason as well? I can't help it. Mm. Um, I might leave. <laughs> I'm not lying. What? I might leave. Why? Um, because, um, oh, for many reasons, I just, I don't... Sunita, please tell me you're joking. I'm not joking. You are? Sunita, I'm not fucking leaving. Oh. You've got into this house oh. out of 150,000 people. It's not me, though, and I'm just... The experience isn't you, or are you worried about what the people think of you? Like, your family and that? You know, to be quite honest, like, I'm getting really claustrophobic being in the same rooms and doing the same things and the same routine over and over again. Um, but, like, it just seems... But it's neat, I'm not I don't feel like you have to join in, because you don't, you know. No, I know, I know. It's not it's not the joining in factor. And, like, I, you know, you guys, you know, everyone gets on really well, and I have enjoyed it. Mm. But... I don't know, I just, I just don't think I can make it. Oh, you can, please don't think that. <laughs> well, we won't say anything unless, like, you know, you mention it type thing. Don't think I'm... No, no, I know, I know, I know, I totally... I mean, I, 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 you know, you guys are wicked and it's cool, but I just don't... I just don't think I can... I don't know if it's me, I don't know if I can sort of do it. Why so, did you want to come in? Perhaps I didn't what, think about it enough. What appealed you to this in the first place? I, th you know, it... I suppose when you watch it from the safety of your own home, yeah. and you have the power to sort of, you know, turn the TV turn off, on yeah, and so. off, and you do things, you know, it's, you know, all our rights have effectively been taken away, and effect the, uh, oh, I just don't know, I just don't know what the right decision to make oh, is. Oh, please, try and stay to the end of the week. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll wake up and I'll see how it goes tomorrow. Yes, it do it day by day, though. Well, since the recording of this programme, Sunita has told Big Brother again that she wants to leave the house. Find out more on Channel 4 tomorrow at 10 or watch the continuous live coverage over on E4 tonight from 10 past 11. We'll party on with Graham Norton next here on 4 and he's going to tell you all about it.